this is the app scene, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Mighty Wallet. This is the one that I bought, the graffiti one, and then, taking it apart, I figured out that I could make my own. I made this one. This is a, uh, made of tie deck, and it's identical to the real Mighty Wallet. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to make this. Things you'll need are tape, scissors, a tie deck envelope. You can usually find these at post offices and a printer. First, you're going to go to the website in the description and you'll see this page. You're going to go down here to print and you're going to print it out. Be sure not to scale the print or else your wallet will be too small or big. Now, once you've printed out all four pieces of paper, you're going to cut every single one along the outside line. So, and they're all marked one, two, three, and four. So, cut them on the outside line. Once you've cut out all your pieces of paper, you're going to take your tape and tape each one together in order. So one goes over here, two here, three down here, and four down here. I will show you later how this looks after being taped. Once you're done taping, it should look like this. One over here, two over here, three over here, and four over here. Let's prepare the tie deck envelope. You're going to want to cut straight through here and straight through here, and then cut off the the sticky tape. Once you've cut your tie deck envelope, you should have cut off the strip, cut it open, and cut off the end. Now you have a big piece of tie deck. Now we're going to take the thing that we made before and place it on top of the tie deck. Sheet. Take your tape and tape down your paper to the tie deck. Once you have your paper diagram completely taped onto your tie deck sheet, you're going to want to cut it out around the paper. You've cut away all of your tie deck. So you have paper and tie deck. So you have the same diagram in tie deck. You're going to want to, you see the center piece right here? Cut that out. Be very careful in cutting this out and be very exact because this part will be showing in your final design. A little trick for cutting this out is to fold it in half and then cut it and it'll cut it evenly throughout the whole the whole circle. Once you've cut out the circle in the center, you're ready to remove your paper diagram from the tie deck. And you should be left with your almost completed Mighty Wallet.
final step for making your Mighty Wallet is the folding. You're going to want to fold it right there. Here. Here. For reference, you can go back to your paper version and every line in the inside is where you want to bend it. Once you've creased all of the areas on the tie deck, you're ready to fold it up. You're going to take your tape and take two pieces. Make them into, if you have double sided tape, it would be easier, but you're going to want to make them so they are double sided by making them into little circles. And these two flaps, you're going to put them there on the flaps. Then the flaps are going to fold over, if I get a close up here, it's going to go right there. down this centerpiece, the rest is very simple. You're going to want to fold it here, so you have this flap, fold the flap, flat against that, fold this against here, and now you're going to want to, these side flaps are going to be bent and once you bend all of the side flaps you take them so you have two side flaps and the center hole you're going to take the flap and put it inside of the hole and then just push it in there like that and the next one and do the same on this side. Hold it all four flaps you're almost done. Now you just want to fold the wallet in half, press down the edge, and you're done. You have now your own homemade Mighty Wallet. Let's compare it to the real Mighty Wallet. Size, same. Inside we have two pouches for cash, two pouches for cash. In the center we have compartments for bills, compartments for bills. And on the outside we have side compartments. And it's made out of Tyvek, which is an incredibly strong tear-proof material. And there's how to make your very own Mighty Wallet. You can also take Sharpie and put your own designs on it, like I did here. If you need any help in any of these parts in this tutorial, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you. If you thought this was useful, be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.